Welcome back to another guide video. Today we'll be covering the post Halloween update. Now there's going to be quite a lot to cover today and we'll go through them in order from top down. Starting off we have the post Halloween event change log in which it only came out a few days ago as it came out the same day that the event ended. So we have added new introductory music to the character creator, added rogue crash site random event in the yellow hazmat suit, changed the spawn locations for some hazmat suit variations, changed spawn locations for the milkman cap, used to be a random spawn now more like other rare cosmetics, so it's going to have its own set spawn instead of just a rare random spawn, and the citadel has vanished and the rifts have closed. Until next time. Let's start off with the basic, the original, you know them, they annoy the piss out of you every time you go to Volcano, the orange hazmat suit motherfuckers. These would spawn around mainly like the lab's debris near Volcano and they can drop their clothing or even an orange survey backpack. Next we have the white hazmat which spawns literally right here and drops their clothing or a white survey backpack. Now we have the Olive Hazmat, which I've only found them spawn at regional tents or just outside Large Hangar in Nass. They would drop their uh, the clothing and the Olive Survey Backpack. Now for the Yellow Hazmat, I've only ever found it spawn in two places, in the hallway and in the basement of Ash Hospital, and it drops its clothing and presumably a Yellow Survey Backpack. Lastly we have Black Hazmats, which spawn at Rogue Heli Crashes and it would rarely drop their clothing or a black survey backpack. A rogue heli crash is the new random event which is literally a heli crash but painted black and it spawns one rogue zombie with a random gas mask either being red or green, a rogue heli pilot, a black hazmat zombie and a, a rogue zombie with a black gas mask or even an infected rogue specialist. Rogue helis are really similar to regular heli crashes in which that they can spawn an SF gun on the floor and NATO battle packs along with attachments on the chairs and I even found a black hazmat uh, top on the floor. I've only come across four different locations for the rogue heli crash sites and it doesn't seem believable that there's not that much although it does make sense as pointed out by NIF that they're all around Mackinac area if not on Mackinac then really close because that is like the hub for all the rogue zombies. Starting off we have the olive and black boonie hats that drop from the AUG and A2 zombies respectively. The jet black tactical vest is from the rogue with the black gas mask or the rogue specialist. For the jet black military ammo webbing I'm not sure how you can get it now because during the Halloween update you can get it from this guy that spawns at the citadel and drops a rogue Uzi. For the rogue black gas mask you get it from this guy and for the coloured sombreros and snorkel masks you get them in the same spot that you normally would. There is a new rogue zombie that I've only been seeing since the start of the update but SoundYT has been claiming to see it from before but it's just really really rare so it seems that he's been made a lot more common to spawn but it's the rogue operative and it uh, drops the rogue Uzi. It spawns around the same area as the other rogues, so that practically confirms it that Blondie does not drop the rogue Uzi. Doesn't seem like you can get any rare clothing from him though. Anyway, that's it. See ya.